All right, so continuing with this last set of videos, we have um, three situations. We have a dog, a fish, and a cat. Um, very nice. I'm going to assume the fish is in a river. So we need to look at the position graphs and identify them to start with. So the dog starts at 15 meters. So let's find that one for the dog. So this is clearly the dog. Um, the fish starts at zero meters. So this would be the fish. And the cat starts at negative 60 meters down here. So we've got those labeled. Excellent. So now we want to figure out what the, velo what the velocity and acceleration graphs look like. So for this fish, notice we start off with a positive slope. We go to flat. And then we get a negative steady slope. So if we were to actually draw the velocity versus time graph, um, we should see a graph that looks like um, here, negative, then goes to zero. So I would actually say here. Um, and then we end up going backwards. So we're going to go here. Um, a positive slope that becomes flat um, and then goes speeds up a little bit going negative and then levels off to a steady negative speed. So we're looking for something like this for the fish, um, which is clearly graph G. All right. Now to get the acceleration graph for the fish, uh, we're going to need a negative steady acceleration and then a flat part. So the acceleration graph for the fish is going to just look like this and then levels off to zero, um, which is clearly graph A. So we've covered the fish. Now let's talk a little bit about the dog. The dog starts at 15 and so we have a negative steady speed um, and then it levels off and then it's positive and steady but a little bit less um, speed so maybe a little bit of a flatter slope but still um, a slope. So we're going to basically see a thing where um, we're going backwards and then goes to zero and then um, forwards like that. So our velocity versus time graph is going to look something like, and actually be really clear here, so we have a negative velocity, so negative, and then um, we're going to change speed, and then we're going to go steady here. So it's negative, positive, steady, and then here it levels off to zero, and then turns around. So this is going to be the velocity graph we get, which ends up being here for the dog, part B. What that means for our acceleration is we're going to have zero, positive, and zero, so this is also the dog's acceleration. Now, um, what this also means is that this is going to be the cat because it's all we have left. But let's actually talk about what that means in real life. So we're going to have um, a positive, then we level off to zero, and then we end up having a negative speed here, which is exactly what's going on. And then for the acceleration, we have no acceleration, then a negative acceleration level off, and then we're moving at steady speed again. So that is number 15.